Let's graph the linear equation y equals minus 2x. And we're going to do it two ways. First, we'll put values in for x, and that'll give us the value for y. Then we can take those points and graph them for our graph. Next, we'll look at the slope-intercept formula to check our work. So let's start by putting in 0 for x. That's a good place to start. Negative 2 times 0, that gives us 0. How about 1? Negative 2 times 1, that's just negative 2. And then negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 1, that's positive 2. So these are just values I made up. You could use any values, but these usually fit pretty well on the graph paper. So this gives us these points. So we can graph these now to get the linear equation y equals minus 2x. So we have x is 0, y is 0. That's right here. Then we have x is 1 and y is minus 2. So x is 1 and then we go down 2. And the last one, we have x is negative 1 and y is positive 2. So we go over and up 2. And there's our line. We could have done it with just two points, but three is nice in case you make a mistake. And we can just put a line through this. Put arrows out here to show it goes to infinity. And that's the graph for y equals minus 2x. If we kept putting values in for x and finding y, they'd all be on this line. Let's check our work with the slope-intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b. m, that's the slope. That's the negative 2. But b here, the y-intercept, we don't have anything. So let's just put 0 in for b. That won't change anything, but now we do have a y-intercept. And that's where the line is going to cross through the y-axis. So we have the y-intercept is 0. Come down here to 0, and that's our first point. For m, the slope here, we have negative 2, but it's helpful to think about this as negative 2 over 1, because then we have rise over run. So in this case, since it's negative, instead of going up, we're going to go down. So we go down 1, 2, that's our negative 2, and over 1, because that 1 is positive here. Then we go down 1, 2, over 1. We started at the y-intercept. Likewise, we could just do the opposite. We could go up 2 and over 1 to the left, up 2 over 1 to the left, and all the points fall on the line here. This y equals negative 2x. So we did the first part correctly. This is the graph for the linear equation y equals minus 2x. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.